Hello everybody and welcome back to workers and resources and all that. <laughs> uh, to Volunteva. Volun... Vol... Volun... Volunteva. How do you pronounce that? Yes. Well, right, so... Last episode we got all this done. Well, we added all these buildings. So we've got some people around here. We've got people going to university and to school and things. I haven't fixed them lights yet. Um... I've only just finished recording the, the end of the last episode, so uh, if there's been any comments, I haven't read them yet because I haven't even published the last first episode yet. I'm just waiting for this truck to get back here because what I want to do is, sorry for the quick movement, I want to get this road finished off around here. While I've got no buildings on the go at the moment, moment, uh, while I've got no buildings on the go at the moment, I want to get these in. That was, I added a, this is a vehicle depot, it's a, a mod as well. Quite nice, long, thin one instead of the usual. Won't mind some smaller ones of these though. Which I suppose I shall go and make myself, unless somebody else does sunny in the meantime. Come on truck, I want to get this, uh, I want to get this road laid in. Right, so, while we've got no production on the go, I want to get these... Let me get these roads done. <laughs> You're gonna see the dancing, dancing road things now. Um, go up as far as there, because that is my only gas station at the moment. Um, I need to leave that open for if these need to go and get gas. Apologies for my dog. <laughs> right, that truck's been right. Okay, let's get these. Should have done these the other way around. Um, may cause confusion with the construction office if it picks them up. I think he's off for uh, off for fuel. I think probably. Yep. The they don't pick up fuel when they're out on the runs, I think I've already mentioned that, but um Yeah. <laughs> Them wiggly things make me laugh. It's only when I've got the menu open. <laughs> it's only since the late latest update, but you wanna see it when I've got loads of footpaths all over the place. I think I've got them all done now. Yeah, I, I um, I opened up the second construction office and I bought <laughs> bought these little cars. Um, I didn't realise they had these silly stickers all over them. They just they just look green and white, and I thought they suited. I bought these little trucks. Rather than buy buses, I thought I'd stick some cars on. And these are just purely for doing footpaths. Um, so they'll only pick up four people at a time. So they're not. They're not raiding the bus stop too much, although they did, it did, they did struggle for a while to get passengers because there weren't many people coming to this bus stop. Um, <clears throat> at the moment, I've only got people going down to the gravel thing, and I think this is full. Yeah, so I didn't really need a second one of these on here at the moment. Um, the problem I, I was having was basically just not enough people getting into this. Do is having none or one per people waiting. I think the is that road still under construction? It is. Looks like it's not far off finished. 24 tons of gravel. Got a dumper on the way. Okay, so that road's nearly done. Once that's done, I can get rid of this dirt road then. Um. <coughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to get these roads upgraded before we build anything else. So while they're doing that, um, we'll start to plan where we're going to go. Um, now I do want to get some food in. Just have a look over here for... Can we get big fields in here? We can, sideways. See, my small farm can handle three big fields, so it means I'm driving a long way round. Unless I was to put in, I could get two in there maybe. Let's um, 
a look. Saw you. Oh, is there enough room to get a road around? Thank you, auto save. Do it save, looks of it. Right, so that's one lot of fields. Um, I think we'll have to fish farms along here. So, one lot of fields and one small farm should do nine fish farms, I think. Um, now, the thing is, we definitely need more room for clothing and... Um, alcohol and food production. We're probably going to have to go over this side for those. Let's just have a look at there. Let's have a look at where we can go. Um, could go over here. It's a bit far out of town though. It doesn't really matter how far away the farms are. There's another town up here as well actually. We might head up here and have could maybe get these get these working as well. Um, I am going to expand this town definitely, but I'm also going to try and. Oh, I think that is the first fire. <laughs> I've not seen any fires yet. Come on, fire engines! Here they come. Have you got people? I hope you got people on board. Um. Yeah, we've got workers in there. How does it tell you? I think it's here. Yeah, there we go. If you've got no firefighters in the fire station, they will go empty. <laughs> and then just not put the fire out. <laughs> I've had that happen, and then you end up losing the fire truck as well. But, um, yeah, that fire station there, this is... This is, um... It's got really good coverage as well, it even covers this petrol station, this gas station over here, just about. Um, it'll probably go a little bit further once that road's built. Covers all of them. Doesn't cover them at the moment because they're currently cut off until the roads have been finished. But um, everything else is covered, including the transformer up there. I built a dirt road up along the hill just so the fire engines could get up there if they needed to. Right, so, um, let's get this in. Um, uh, not railway, we need a brood. Put one there. Um, we want... Um, Farm. Put the farm there. And get to barn. Not an auto build, am I? Auto purchase now. That looks straight. Straight enough. Get a dirt road. Need a substation. Pop that there. All right, that should cover. It'll cover all of this anyway. So maybe about here. It's fine. Right. So, factories, fish farms. I might need to do a little bit of land leveling here, maybe. Oh dear, sorry, the <laughs> dog's going nuts. Now I can build them over the edge of the farm there, that's over the edge of the field there, that's a bit unusual. Now, I want to build these. Oh. <laughs> Have we got no excavators? Or can they just not reach this far? 
Where are they? Are they working on these roads? Why aren't the bulldozers working on them? Did I move two bulldozers? No, I was thinking of moving two bulldozers over there. Um, I wish it's in the fact. I'm gonna change depot. You go to that one. Go to that one. Right, I'm moving the excavators out of there for the time being. Um, that way the bulldozers are going to work on the roads instead. In fact, I'm going to move two of the bulldozers as well. Right, so um, that gives me my excavators and things. Let's get back to the fish farms. Right, now I'm going to put these in in blocks of three. Um, they are a little bit fiddly to place. In fact, it'll probably be easier if I level the terrain out first. The biggest I can go to. I don't want to go too far into the water here. <laughs> it's a new riverbank. Let's go a little bit further into the water. Go on, we can have a bit more room. Then if I need to get a need to get a road through there as well. That should be easier to place now, these. So, I'm going to do them, as I said, in blocks of three. And the reason being is because if you do them, in, if you do them, if you try and pick up from them individually, what will happen is you I'm sorry about my dogs, they are really, really distracting me. Um, there's some, somebody banging something outside and the dogs are going nuts. If you, right, train of thought. <laughs> if you try and deliver, or if you try and collect from them individually, because they're such slow producers, you, what you'll find is your refrigerated truck, even if you use a really small one, will get stuck and will be sat there for ages. Um, because it will be getting a small amount constantly as long as there's people there working um, yeah so it'll just be filling up really really slowly and they get stuck but if you put three together you can deliver to and collect from the middle one of the three it won't go any further than three um, come on there there we go Told you they were fiddly. <laughs> oh no, that one's got water and it's too low down. Um, it's splashing a little bit. It's really, really on the edge. That one. Right, let's get a um, let's get a road on here. Go up there, but I don't know if that one will connect there at the bottom. I doubt it. Oh, it does. Let's bring that road up there. Right, so I want uh, some more here. It's going to be even more tricky to get in, I think, by the looks of it. I want to get as many as I can, really. I don't need it to connect to that one. Thing is, I could have made them slightly easier to build, but the problem is, 
<laughs> um, I've made the how far you can actually build them or into, or onto the water or into the land very very small so <laughs> it makes it it makes it really really tricky I could do some more bulldozers as well so I'll go and spend some money on some bulldozers let's bring this land out a little bit Go and get some more bulldozers. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day trying to get that in. Um, let's give me one, two, three, four more. That's full now, anyway. Um, yeah, right. Should speed things up a little bit. close to that road as I can but I don't want to create too much of a ridge there because we're going to have trouble getting the getting the road onto it. Now I don't want it connecting to that one. Press control it disconnects the uh, auto connection. Let's do a bit of leveling now. If you level before you place them otherwise if, if you place them in your road, the tip of your road, this bit here He's on a really bad slope and you're not going to be able to get a road off it. Right, so... Um, any of them going to connect now? I don't think so, it's too steep. can do that. That one was going to connect then. Um, yeah. It does connect, okay. Bring that out there. And we can bring that on. Maybe not. Oh, it does. There we go. Right, so we're going to need a road. That's what I'm going to do. too much descent. <laughs> I don't really, I can connect there but I don't want it having to hook back on itself like that. I don't know why it won't just, we have that bit there. Get rid of that bit of road there. Um, I don't get why it'll do it to there, but it won't do it to there. <laughs> do it there, there, there. No, not there. No, the bit you want, you can't have. Try doing it there, we go, little bits. Baby steps. Yeah, that one's definitely underwater. <laughs> um, let's get rid of that one. Just raise the land a little bit. <coughs> right, so that's six fish farms, one farm. Um, I might actually do a couple of chicken farms out here as well then. So they'll give us some meat as well. Um, chickens! I've got to remember that we also need to get need to be able to get workers down to all of these. So I'm thinking... Um, bus stop up here might... Just 
wondering if we'd be able to reach these down here. We might have to put a bus stop up here as well. Can I get... Can I get a bus stop in there anyway? Just there would be nice, but... I um, don't think it's going to let me... That small platform. If I could just get it, just get it tucked in there somewhere, it'd be quite handy. Maybe if I get rid of that. Just move that over somewhere. Uh, do, do, do. What we got in mods? Bus stops. Um, I wish I'd put these in alphabetical order. Uh, where's the bus stops? For the production card. Um, got to double check my microphone switched on there. Uh, Sun sinking feeling. Um, construction office, Union City Hall, Power Station. Where are the bus stops? Um, stations. Platform station, there we go, oh my god. Right, what are you? Ah, you're apparently a crossover, that's definitely too big. <laughs> right, so we've got these. Little single ones. It's a trolley bus stop. Yeah, we've got loads on here as well. Bus stop tiny. My old drive through bus stations. Bus platform small. That looks like it'll fit. Right, we need to put the power transformer, the substation back in here. Um, so you went yellow there a minute ago. The tooltips aren't helping. <laughs> get both, well I can just about get both fish farms in but I'm going to have some stuff up here as well so um, I'll put another one down here. Footpaths, right. Not really a massive necessity but put them in there, allow people to be able to walk. It's so bumpy. Uh, yeah. Pop one there and they can choose to walk around if they want to do. Um, right, so we've got six fish farms. We've got a, a small farm, a small barn. I'm going to need some wood production because um, the fish farms need wood for the smokers. I'll just check on these roads. How are we doing? The phone's flashing away at me as well. <laughs> Whatever it is, it can wait. Um, it's probably just a notification from YouTube or something. Right, so, uh, yeah, them roads are getting done, that's that's the main thing. Is this road finished? That's road's finished, yeah. Let's get rid of this. I don't think they can get out at the moment anyway. 
Well, they can, but they can't get to the storage yards. Let's do that bit of road while they're trapped in there. <laughs> wiggly, wiggly. Right, let's get back over here. Um, check hands. Couple of these. I think I might just put a meat storage in between them. Um, and power lines. Power lines in the way here. Where's this road going? I need to connect up to this one, I think. That to there. I have to disconnect this power line. Um, pause it a minute. Right, power. I need to reconnect that. Um, that one? Is it that one? It is that one. I need to pay for that. So that's me, power to me. Um, construction offices and everything. <laughs> and me only gas station in town. I need a gas station over this side of town as well. Um, maybe get one in here somewhere. I could do one up. I've got one over the other side of the hill and I've got one here, but um, here, but them are the only two. Isn't any in town. Um, right, let's. Oh, I'm gonna have to move these wires. Shucks. Right, let me just pause for a second. Right. Um, just checking on my dinner. I've got my dinner cooking, so. Um, got to keep an eye on my fish pie. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fish as well. <laughs> Ironically. Right, let's let's get rid of this. And take it, take it out completely. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. Make sure we definitely get rid of the right one here. And take that. Yep, let's go as far as there. <sighs> Hate cutting the power off. Because <laughs> quite often I tend to forget about it. And then only realise when I'm sat here watching them and realise half the town's in the dark. Right, let's get the other chicken farm here. I'm just I'm in two minds of putting a storage facility in between them. I can I can just No. I'm just gonna join them up together. Um and they can feed off one another's resources then. Right, let's... No, I don't think that bus stop up there is going to reach. I'm going to dedicate that one to the fish farms only. Um, I'm just thinking, I don't think we really need... We just need a woodcutter up here, so... I can maybe put a bus stop in... Here. Turn that back to there. If I put a bus stop there... And get that road connected up. Oh, it does. I don't think they're going to use that anyway, but I'm going to connect it up just for... Just for the sake of it. Press shift if you want to get rid of the bendy bit. <laughs> right, um... They can go to there. We need a... Logging camp. 
for my one but it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter actually because I'm not going to connect it to a storage um, I could have done with putting it like up here or something I always, I'm just going to plant loads of trees around here. Let's put it... Um, back here. I think I'll just put a dirt road out to this. Get them booked in. Right, let's smooth out some of this terrain. And we'll go plant a load of trees while we're here. This area full of pine trees, please. <laughs> Oops. Go away, questions and answers. I didn't mean to click on you. Whoa. <laughs> Don't know whether I can get another three fish farms in there, but I think that'll be fine because that should provide enough grain for these um, and these. What we do want now is um, I want a meat storage and a distribution office and I'm just wondering if I need two distribution offices because I want one to deliver to town and I want to export as well um, I've got three shops in town so now these have got two tons of storage, my ones. I'm not sure about this one. That's only got one ton. Um, so we definitely need a garage or petrol station down here somewhere. Um, Still with a min oil one, I think. Stick you there. There is any modded meat storage yet, apart from a absolutely huge one. Small front store. Oh, nice! He's oh, cool. I hadn't seen that before. That's a shame it hasn't got any factory connections on it. <laughs> um, who made that then? Because I've got a small waterfront shop as well. I'm not sure who's made them, but nice one, whoever has done. So they will go with my fish farms quite nicely. Um, right, what we're doing? I need a meat storage. Let's. Get a meat storage. Let's pop the meat storage here. Yes, and um, 
small distribution office. Definitely need some modded ones of these. <laughs> squeeze that, squeeze that in there as tight as I can. Right, just before I build that, I'm just going to go and level the back end of that out. Because once you've got a building in, there's a certain radius around the building that it will no longer level. So if you level before you place your building in, you won't have that problem. Right, so now I can go and level the back end of this out a lot easier without having a big lump at the back of it. Destroying half them trees. <laughs> right, so we need a um, substation over this side. We've got one there. This one here is only going to cover them. So we need one. Need it to be able to touch that fish farm there. Thinking maybe. Pop it here because then it's got road access if it needs. It starts burning. Right, that one we can connect straight up to there. And we're going to use these because I don't need lots and lots of power down here. Um, Come up there, there we go. Right, get them connected up to there. I'm just gonna book them in because they should be able to start building them before we before we even get down here, before the road's built. Um I need to reconnect the power to this side of town. Am I using all the connections off that? I am. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got two connected to there. I've got one over there. But one to this side of town. There's one there as well. Right, one, two, three. Four, five. Should have an empty connection here. Three going up there. This one here. Aha! Found you. <laughs> I hadn't quite deleted it the whole way. Right, let's. Um, <laughs> confusion. Let's. Let's bring this up along the back of these buildings here. Let's. Um, this one. Yeah. I need to get this out. Along this way. Hey! Sorry, one of my dogs is chewing at his bloody. scratching his ear and making a funny noise. Right underneath me. <laughs> right, let's get that one bought, because that's my. Um, that's my connection to town. How are we doing for time? Right, um. Now then, I need to get... Why are you going to let me go, go, gonna go that far? There, that's nice. Right, let's get my substation. Not a substation, transformer. 
That's a railroad transformer. Power transformer. Oh, well. Power transformer is there. <laughs> Confusing myself here. Um, right, I'm going to go up this side, I think. Um, because we're going to have industry out over this side. I only need one connection for down here at the moment. So we'll put it about there, I reckon. That's like a bit of dirt road in there for the... Um, for the fire engines. Right, so let's get that in. Let's um, bring up my tools. to buy these because I need the power back on down here um, otherwise everything's just going to come to a standstill so I haven't really got much choice apart to, other than to pay for that at the moment let's get some medium voltage wires let's uh, I see no they're trees I thought they were I thought that was wiring that have been left. I want to try and get back up through the middle there. So let's come out this end first. Right, let's get that bolt. That should put the power back on down here. Please, thank God. Right, start the game playing again now. Um, I don't know how far we're in, what was it, about 25 minutes, 30, 40, so we're about 40 minutes in. Um, I normally set a timer and pause it and I forgot to do. Right, so this should be picked up, yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, right, thank you auto save. So we've got farm barn. We've got a distribution office here, which I think is going to work for me. Collecting grain, dropping it off. Collecting wood, dropping it off. Collecting meat, dropping it off. Hmm. I might be asking a bit too much of this distri distribution office. We might need a couple more of these yet. Definitely going to need another one at least anyway to distribute to the shops because I want that one just picking up meat. So, get another small one around about here. Hey, stop scratching your ear. You're going to make it sore. Sorry. <laughs> Talking to my dog. I've seen to have got a bit of a sticky node here. dancing jiggly bits off. Right, so he's definitely got power because we've got a power plant there. Um, I could do with some more housing I think. Um, let's try, I think these bus stops, how far are the walking distances on them? They're near enough for each one another. I'm thinking if I put some more housing down here on my brick flats. I will use other stuff, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not just going to use all mine. Um, let's go with... I might get some doubles along here. Let's, um, the only thing is the menu jumps back to two rows. If I switch to get citizens off it, it'll go back to three. Um, but if it jumps on you, you need to just go back a few pages. So... 
We're on, I want five story doubles. Let's see if we can level a bit of the land up. Can have some people live in Waterside. Right, uh, old three, five story double there. Lovely. Squeeze in, you can squeeze there. Squeeze in further up. That looks good. Can we have another one? Saw it flicker. I saw you flicker at me. Did it there, there. It'll do it there. Just see if I can bring a bit more of that land up a little bit there. Um, all three, five story double, there we go, that's better. Another one of them there. Another one. Another one here. Have another one there. Leave a little bit of room to get footpaths around because we'll get some more buildings around there then. Um, let's get that up there. Oops. Bring this along here. Missed. <laughs> and again. So we've got a school here, we've got kindergartens, we've got some sports facilities, there's a shop there. Um, we've got two clinics in town, I did build a couple of clinics, there's one there and one here. I also do need to go and check on my dinner to make sure it's not burning. <laughs> I'm back in a second. Right, um, so four blocks of apartments there, let's just put in those other footpaths. I was thinking of putting a statue in there actually. Uh, monuments. What have we got in. All those fences and stuff in here as well now. Um, but these little red stars are quite nice. I like these. Stick a few of my. Uh, few of my Lenin statues about. Is that connected? It is connected. It's not going to let me put that there though. Stick one over here. No? Don't we'll stick one over there then. <laughs> um, did you flicker then? It uh, seems a bit of an odd place to have it, but I'll stick some statues in later. Um, Right, so let's get them footpaths booked in, so my uh, footpath crew can get to work. Are you out? You're already on the way. Um, there's no bulldozers going out there. Um, how are we doing on these roads? What are you working on? Roads. Started working on this already. Right, let's just suspend that for a minute. Um, yeah, because I need to get these roads finished before I can get my construction. Because at the moment I've got these blocked off. I can't get any concrete or asphalt, and I can't get any bricks or boards or 
steel or anything. <laughs> or vehicles. <laughs> or even me. Yeah, nothing can get out at the moment. Right. What road are you concentrating on now? Right, which is this one? That's this one, that's fine. Right, get these roads finished, please. Right, so... We've got a little farm, we've got electricity, we've got a bus stop there, we've got a bus stop there. Um, the bus is going to come from this stop here. So we're going to change that up at the moment. We've got both bus stops going to down here. So I've got two little mini buses, so I'll just swap them over. Um, have them running down to here, so whenever these are full, I'm going to reduce this down to minimal staff anyway. Um, whenever these are full, these will get the overflow then, so they should produce, albeit rather slowly. Um, this will definitely give us a bit more population. Let's just have a look, we need a few more footpath connections here. Thank you, auto save. Um, bring that down. Let's get that connected up to there. Quick judicial press of the shift button there worked nicely. Right, let's get them booked in. Right, um, I could do we get the farm built first, but <laughs> gonna have to wait. Gonna have to get done last. Yeah, I can't even get to it until the roads are done. Those are connected up. That's fine. I could still get another three of them in there yet. I might do. I might. I might stick three, three more in there yet. Um, see how we get on. That's going to give us meat anyway. It should give us a decent amount of meat. Um, so hopefully we'll have enough to start selling some as well. Um, we'll find out when we get there. Now, is there anything else I wanted to add? I do want to get into more production and start making some more money before I have to take a loan out. I really want to avoid taking loans. Um, but I'm probably going to run out of money at some point. So we're going to keep the loans to an absolute bare minimum. And uh, I'm only going to use it to put into production something that's going to make me some money. Speaking of which, I could start manufacturing some cars or something, some vehicles, and just start selling them. I'm not going to give any citizens any vehicles at the moment. Um, because they don't need them. I think I could put. I might make. I might build a couple of car plants just to kind of try and offset. I'm not sure what. Um, I've got my little clothing factories as well, but. I know the hard money, hard mode challenge rules state that you can't import goods to sell on, so that's another thing. Um, what can I sell? What can I make money out of if I can't import stuff? You know, I'll do I go for a chemical factory. Um, but then I need I need to research it. Are you a technical university? You're not. Damn, I can't even build a chemical plant. Um, about plastic. You need chemicals for plastic. Uh, I need a technical college. So 
long as we've got a couple in there, that's all that matters because then that's giving us more higher educated people. It will gradually over time give us plenty. Um, at the moment we are a bit low. Um, I need to. I need to add something money. I need to add something of value. But I don't want to cheat. Because if I start making clothes, I need to import chemicals. And the rules state that you can't import anything for selling. So, I can sell meat, I can make alcohol, but that's going to need another farm. I've got my small food factory. I do want to cut that down a little bit because it's a little bit overpowered. Um... Get a micro brewery. See that only produces a ton of alcohol a day from five tons of crops. And these little farms are only gonna produce around two tons of crops a day, so I'd need like two farms in order to support a micro brewery. Um, and then another two or three to support a factory. So I'd need either a full size farm to produce those, which I might I might do over here. And then have them, have them over this side somewhere, and then distribute from there. Um, we could make concrete, cement. I mean, I don't think it goes for a lot though. Only forty rubles, thirty-nine rubles a ton. Alcohol, food. 142 cloves are the best one, but I need to import meat 283. So meat's going to give us a bit of an income. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at this for now. Um, I'm going to see where we are on the other side of this because we are paying for quite a lot of stuff as well, like food and clothing and stuff. Um, yeah. I'm going to jump into a time lapse. All right, I'll leave you here and I'll be back in a bit.
Right, so we have some fish farms. Um, I did spot. Oh yeah, we've not picked that road up. <laughs> road uh, factory connection. The um, sorry, the construction offices aren't picking everything up. Um, I have had to go and manually assign one or two things just to get them going. Uh, I built a little gas tank up here because I forgot and the tractor went all the way up there to get fuel. Um, so we've just got grain started to come in. It's just arrived. Um, the harvester's just there. So the first lot of grain's coming in. That's good. Um, I did manage to stick loads of trees in this field and there's trees all this fields only selectable from certain areas and this one I can't select but the the farms picked it up anyway so that's okay right so the chicken farms are done um, they need grain the wood cutting post is ready and is surrounded by trees 302 tons in the forest guess some of these trees are not ready yet <laughs> um, we've got the distribution offices right what I need to do yeah let's go and get a couple of buses I built a couple of little extra um, construction offices so I've got one for me pathing crew now my funky little cars and my little trucks these are doing roads this one's doing uh, buildings and stuff so buildings and factory connections and things. That one's set to roads only. Right, so we need a couple of buses. Um, I've been using the Zills. I think I'll carry on using them. Let's get two of them. And you'll need to go to here. Go to there. And go to there. Off you go. And... Um, copy schedule, come on just set line, um, which one is it, it's that one I think, must be, yeah, yeah that's right, oh. <laughs> It's all new, it's all new. Something I haven't mentioned yet is the list of lines. I meant to mention it on the video, I blinking forgot about it. Um, it was the only thing I forgot about as well. I've got everything else covered on the update video. But yeah, you've got uh, lines in here so you can go and see which, which ones and you can rename them as well. So I'll probably name the lines after a while so I know who's going where and doing what. Um, Right, so we've got some workers on the way, we will have very soon, so I need two open holes, stick brown ones on here, <laughs> um, and I need three covered holes. Right, so you're going to go... Low crop from low crops from there. I'm gonna load wood from there. Now why are you not letting me load wood? Low crops. Low crops load wood. Just not. Is that working? Is that going to work? We'll find out. So, they're going to get crops. We'll see if these come out and get go and get wood. Um, they're not going to do until... Right, I need to cut the workers down in there. We don't need that many. So we'll go five, which is the minimum. Um... I'm wondering if I need a second distribution office to do the wood.
There's, just, there's none in there yet. <laughs> right. It seems to be working. It seems to be working. So... These trucks are going to come... Are they all going to go? They're going to go to two different farms. Fish farm. Chicken farm. Fish farm. Fish farm four. Yeah, they're all going to different places. Excellent. Uh, what else was he? I built a university and we did the research. Yes, it's just finished, I think. Because last time I looked, it was on 90 something percent. Um, so we've got chemistry. Uh, I did take out a loan. I ran out of money. And I didn't want to go have to go and sell loads of vehicles. So I borrowed half a million. Um, and I'm probably going to need to borrow some more as well. <laughs> um, there's no rules in the hard mode challenge about borrowing money, you're allowed to take out loans. Um, but I'm not allowed to import manufactured goods, import goods to manufacture and then sell them. So I've got to produce all my own, so that's limiting what I can do, because otherwise I could have just gone and put an oil well up and started selling oil or get a small refinery and start selling fuel and stuff. I could have made money quite easily doing that, but um, we're not allowed to export oil and I can't go into clothing just yet because I need chemicals so I'm going to need to build a chemical plant um, which we're going to need the oil for so we're going to get onto that very very soon and I'm going to have to borrow money for it but I need to get things up and running um, now then this second one I want Right, they're only delivering grain and wood. Ah, right, hang on. Um, I'm gonna sell one of them. I'm gonna sell one of them. And I'm gonna buy two refrigerated ones them ones because they've got OTR on the side <laughs> Ryan put OTR on the side because I complained about the it had a, a red snowflake on the side of it and um, <laughs> I said they looked like um, what was it yeah, they look like little ambulances. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think here now. Right, so we want to unload there. Can we load and unload? We can't. Ah, right. That put paid to that plan. Um. Right, let's move them over to that one then. I'm going to have to, alright, I'm getting confused with this now. I'm going to have to build another one. Alright, let's... I shouldn't have sold them trucks. Um, covered and open. Right, so they're doing the... They're doing the wood and the grain. They should be doing the wood. Yeah, there he goes. He's going out the wood. Excellent. Not going to unload it there, are they? <laughs> I see smoke. I see smoke. What about these ones? No staff. No staff. There's no staff in any of them. So these should pick up once... Um, once we get some staff down here. Right, they carry 60 workers, so they only take 20 each. It's, um... Oh, they must have been for fuel or something. I don't know why we had no workers down here yet. We must have. Just be plenty enough people on these. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. Damn it. <laughs> That's why there's no workers. Um, right. 
already added some of these. Four. Five. It says maximum number reached, but you can keep adding them. Just keep telling you maximum numbers. Right, we've got six there. I need to set them because I don't want them getting off the bus and going working on the fields. I think that's where everybody's gone. They're gone... Right, is there anybody left on this bus? There is. I just want to make sure these fish farms are working. Right, so... Got a few going down there. We've got a few going to here. I thought they were going to walk straight past then. <laughs> now they're producing. There we go. Yeah. Even though they've not got anything on the import, they are actually producing meat. Right. So, what was I saying about making a mod for um, a distribution office? I made one. <laughs> Probably already know already. Um, yeah, I made a couple of those. I made a really little one. So, we have one there and one there. And then when they're ready, I'll move these trucks over um, rather than selling them like a plonker. So I'm going to have one with three trucks in just going collecting the meat. And then I'm going to have one with three trucks in going out to the to the shops. So that should work then. And then I'll, I can get rid of that one then. And uh, Yeah, we're alright for living accommodation. How are we doing for people now? We've got 2,900 people. I've had 21 escapes in total. That means I've lost someone recently. Um, I had five this year. Last year I had no escapes, and the year before that I had one escape. So, we're doing quite well so far. Um, so in total I've had 21 escapes. That's really good. Um, births 2,758. Deaths 1,520. So that's good. How are we doing this year, last year? Yeah, as long as the birth rate's higher than the death rate, we're, we're good. We've got growth. <laughs> um, and we've got plenty of room for people. I do want to go and get some student accommodation around these universities as well for when we get the over 21s that are still living at home. Right. Um, so, are you producing? Yeah. So he's feeding off the grain that's in this one as well. Um, I'm just wondering whether to set them to, like, higher number. What we are, we're on 30%. Let's go up to... Let's go 60, let's try that. Should keep on busy. Keep on moving, keep the grain coming in. So we've got... It's got like 1.2 tonne of meat between the three of them. Excellent, right. So when these are built, I'm going to go and set that up so that we can go and collect the meat. I don't mind the meat stockpiling here for... A, the time being because they can store five ton between them and they can store seven and a half ton between them so I've got room for 20 tons between all, all of them that's good what are we doing for grain up here good that field's nearly ready that one's growing right um been going for quite a while. <laughs> it's going to be a long episode. <laughs> right, um, yes, so everything's working. Uh, I shall show you my small warehouse, small distribution offices next time. Have a quick look. Um, let's just pop it there and zoom in a little bit. I built a little porter cabin. It does have a, a tarmac, a, uh, an asphalt base. So I've made like a little... Uh, little metal shed <laughs> little porter cabin it's got room for three vehicles so 
And it works, I've tested it. Here we go. Are you stuck? No, are you going to tell me you're stuck? You have to keep an eye out for that. They do occasionally get stuck. Um, so you can either do what I just did, which is cancel the project. It does mean I've lost a little bit of gravel, but it doesn't matter because we're not paying for gravel. Um, just cancel it and then reorder it and they'll, they'll come back again. So I'll just make sure they shouldn't get stuck a second time. Either that or um, you can cancel it from the construction office. That's the easiest way of doing it anyway. I'll pay for it. Yep, yeah, I'm going to let them finish them off and uh, next time we'll come back and we'll start looking at making some money. I need to get this wood production and uh, get the brick production up and running as well. And that'll save us some money. Um, and then I can stop buying in bricks and wood. Just buy in steel and prefabs. I've got quite a lot backed up here. I've got 166 tonnes in so... I can stop buying for a while if I need to do as well. Right. Voluntiava is looking quite nice. It's growing quite well. We've got a bit of agriculture and a bit of meat going. Um, we'll get food and stuff on the go. We've got quite a few projects to do still. Just in this town. Before we, uh, before we even start branching out. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Alright, thanks everybody again for watching. If you're still watching. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up down there. If you like this one. And I'll see you really soon for another one. Bye.